let's take a look at the cellular structure of a single alveolus. Notice that there's a blood supply for every single alveolus. There are three cell types, type 1 cells, macrophages or dust cells, and type 2 cells. The type 1 cells are the pink ones. They're the most numerous. And just remember, type 1 performs the number one function, gas exchange. The alveolar macrophages are just general phagocytes. They live out their life in the lungs, and they phagocytize any dust or debris that enters into that area. Type 2 cells produce a secretion called surfactant. Surfactant is like an oily coating that coats the inside of the alveolus, and it alleviates surface tension in the alveolus. So let's take a closer look at surface tension. Surface tension is the cohesiveness of water molecules at a dry, wet interface. Water molecules want to adhere together. So just as an example of um, you know, something that we can picture, if we put a drop of water on a clean glass slide, we know it will happen. That drop of water will stay as a cohesive drop. And that's because the way that the water molecules are organized at that wet, dry interface is really tight. That's what's known as surface tension. Surface tension is helping the water molecules aggregate together. It's almost like the same um, as uh, hydrophilic and hydrophobic, if you remember that concept, how if we put a drop of oil into a beaker of water, all the oil is going to aggregate together. It's, um, you know, it's not going to disperse evenly within the beaker. And so let's just take a look at another possibility. I mean, this is not what we see happen, right? Because we know what's favorable is it's most favorable to minimize the interaction between wet and dry, and that's what surface tension is permitting. But let's take another scenario, clean glass slide, and let's put another drop of water on the clean glass slide. And what we would not see is we would not see the water molecules evenly distributing across the slide. You know, it's probably hard for us to even think of this possibility because if we put a drop of water on the glass slide, we know this won't happen. And the reason that this won't happen, that the water molecules will just evenly distribute across the surface, is because it's unfavorable. And it's unfavorable because this maximizes the amount of interaction between the wet-dry interface. And so I hope that you can see how surface tension um, is going to keep the molecules in a cohesive group. It's going to minimize its interaction with the dry environment compared to this scenario, which we know is unfavorable, that maximizes the wet-dry interface. So let's just apply this to the lungs. If we think about the structure of an alveolus, we know that's the air sac in the lungs where gas exchange takes place. It's made out of simple squamous epithelial tissue, so I'm trying to draw this as a really thin wall. And we know that the alveolus is a uh, mucous membrane, right? So it's moist in here. And I'm going to add that in just like I did with a layer of water above. So we'll say that inside of the alveolus, this is, you know, moist environment. So just take a look at this for a minute. Do you see how the scenario that we have in the lungs is exactly like this unfavorable scenario that we just described? What we want our body to do is we want this thin layer of moisture to stay open and let air move in and out of here. Completely unfavorable because it's maximizing that interface between wet and dry. As a matter of fact, the only reason that this will work is because type 2 cells release a substance called surfactant. And surfactant is an oily substance that will coat the alveoli. Okay, so I'm drawing it in here in pink. Okay, so we'll say that's the surfactant. And the surfactant reminds me of um, like PAM, nonstick cooking spray. It's just a thin layer of an oily coating and it alleviates that surface tension. It permits the alveolus to stay open because it, actually what would be more favorable, you know, if we relate this to the lungs, it would be more favorable for the alveolus to collapse and for all the moisture to aggregate inside. Of course, if this happened, then you know it would be very hard to 
inflate the alveolus every time we breathe. And so to uh, prevent having to do this and to alleviate that surface tension that is most favorable, that wants to happen, uh, we count on the substance surfactant.